It's that time of year again. The seasons have turned. Fall has come. It's colder, grayer, a lot wetter. But now they're stouts. I'm gonna make a small pour for this one. This is a uh, big daddy. Or big mommy as it were, I don't know. It's from Mother Earth Brewing. This is Mother Earth's Four Seasons series, bourbon barrel aged, cocktail inspired Imperial Stout. And I'm not really sure what the, um, what part of that is the title? Is it a co is it a is it the cocktail inspired imperial stout or is it simply the four seasons imperial stout or I don't know um, it is a confusing label it is though however a it is though however also an ale with aromatic bitters lemon peel and star anise flavors a beer brewed to honor the original New Orleans classic cocktail. I'm not entirely certain what the New Orleans classic cocktail is either, but it apparently includes absinthe and other such wonderful things and whiskey. So um, they have attempted to play to pay homage to some classic New Orleans cocktail. I even looked up my uh, Joy of Mixology book and tried to find the classic New Orleans cocktail, but did not find a reference to it in that book. Um, but I'm assuming it's a whiskey cocktail involving absinthe and other cool stuff. Anyways, this is a stout. This is not a cocktail. And I'm going to enjoy it as a stout, not a cocktail. <laughs> Number one, it's a, um, a lot lower ABV than a cocktail, but still. Let's see. Ooh, it smells really good. Um, the Four Seasons series reminded me of the Core of Four se series by Black Raven, which I have not seen this year, so I haven't looked to see if they're still doing it. Um, I looked up, the Four Seasons series is just kind of a flagship beer series that Mother Earth has been doing for several years. Um, I believe I might have had their Fresh Hop, their Summer, um, uh, uh, Thingamajigger, doohickey, what I call their summer Four Seasons series, but it didn't actually say Four Seasons series on the can. I just looked up online and it said, oh, this was the summer 23 one. This is their autumn 23 Four Seasons series, and uh, it being a stout seems apropos to the season. And I believe it was the first stout I bought this year. I actually picked these up at Trader Joe's. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, see how it smells. Mmm, brown sugar, molasses. Um, maybe almost, maybe almost a, a graham cracker. Like there's some uh, salted, sweet, bready kind of deep down there. It seems to stop just shy of going super dark stout like a an abyss or something like that yeah that's really nice it still definitely reads sweet which is something you'd expect from a stout but it doesn't go on like syrupy sweet from the nose anyways it's a very interesting nose and um i don't know what it has to do with the with the cocktail um, it smells like a very nicely crafted imperial stout. That's what it smells like. So uh, let's see how it tastes. Hmm. And there's na and there is a neighbor walking their horse down our, down, not our, down the uh, gravel road. Country living, am I right? <laughs> hmm. So all the... All the things I smelled are there in the flavor too. And it makes for a very interesting, uh, very pleasant um, savoring beer. So you get that sweetness. Um, brown sugar, maybe um, like pomegranate molasses. Not like full on grandma's or blackstrap. Um, sugarcane molasses, but there's a slight fruity character to it. So like you took the the jam and you just took it 
like you, you boiled it down until it was super, super uh, thick and syrupy. Um, like a, I imagine that's what a pomegranate molasses is. Or um, maybe even a hint of balsamic vinegar. Because there is a touch of acidity in here. And I'd imagine that's probably from the bitters and the uh, lemon peel. That's really quite nice. It balances very nicely. There's there's a good amount of complexity going on here without being, um, you know, competitive. It's they, They've added little nuances of flavor that increase the interestingness. Um, there's just a lot of really delicious nuance and variety going on here in the flavors. It is still powerfully sweet, but you'd expect that from an Imperial Stout, right? Um, clocking in at over 11% ABV. I mean, that's that's firmly Imperial Stout territory. I'm not sure I pick up any anise, which would be a black licorice character, but I'd also expect that to be subtler and and slightly salty. There is a hint of salt to black licorice, and so that might be where that kind of graham cracker note came from in the nose. I appreciate that rather than like a blackstrap molasses, this is a um, more of a pomegranate, more of a, a fruity molasses character. Uh, that just, that makes this more enjoyable to me. It's not that I dislike stouts, but they can get cloying. They can just get heavy and overdone. And, um, you know, you, you, you can only take a, a shot of them <laughs> per every night. Not, not for the alcohol content, but just because the flavor is so intense. And, you know, there's a reason you only drink a couple ounces of whiskey at a time, right? It's because that intensity of flavor is intended to be savored over time, slowly, like breathing, you know, just a, a a more contemplative than a shoot it back, right? Um, to me, Imperial Stouts in particular have that same character. It's super heavy, it's super intense, super delicious, but you want them in small quantities and a full on, you know, tall boy can, that's just, it's just a lot, right? This, while it's still, um, it's still super sweet, and super heavy and super imperial stout e. There's enough variety going on here that appears to lighten the character of the beer in a way that I enjoy quite a lot. Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. So this is me, Matthew. I have been drinking and enjoying the Four Seasons series bourbon barrel aged cocktail inspired imperial stout by Mother Earth Brew Company. I'd imagine they are probably also out of Oregon, probably. No, no, Nampa, Idaho. Interesting, Idaho and California. Out of Idaho and California. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.